Good everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today we have an affordable notebook from China called the Onda Xiaoma 41. So this here costs around $290, but for that $290 we do get some decent specs. So first of all we get the 14.1 inches display with the 1080p resolution, we also have the Intel N3450 CPU, this is a quad core CPU, we have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and the device is running Windows 10. Now when I've seen this online it looked like it's made out of metal but in reality the whole thing it's made out of plastic and I have to say that the design is quite boring but leaving the design aside performance wise I don't really have any complaints. Let's start with the 14.1 inches display. So this has a resolution of 1080p and it's advertised as being an IPS panel. However, based on the viewing angles, uh, this is definitely not an IPS panel. So if you're not looking straight at the screen, you're not gonna be able to see that well. But leaving that aside, the colors are nice and vibrant and the screen does get quite bright and on top of that it's covered by some type of matte finish and that means that you can actually see this outside and that's not something that we see every day. And another slight annoyance aside from those viewing angles, it's how much you can actually tilt the screen. So this is the maximum that you can actually open this, so not that much. And mostly if you have this sitting on your lap, it's gonna be a bit difficult to actually see it. So I wish to have went uh, further down. We also have a 2 megapixel front facing camera on top of the screen there and don't imagine that you're gonna take some spectacularly looking uh, pictures, but this is good enough for any video calling that um, you're gonna be doing. But enough about the screen, so as I said before this is made out of plastic entirely, on the left hand side we have a 3.5mm audio jack uh, and uh, this also supports a microphone, we also have a USB 3 port and a slot for a micro SD card. And on the other side we have the HDMI out, we also have the second uh, USB 3 port, the port for the power adapter and lastly an LED. We also have a massive touchpad that supports gestures and of course we have the left and the right buttons built in and it's quite nice to actually use. The keyboard feels a bit cheap but it's not bad considering the price um, of this laptop. What I don't like about the keyboard is the fact that it doesn't light up but I guess um, again for the price of the laptop you can't really expect that much. And because the whole thing is made out of plastic you're gonna notice the plastic bending whenever you put enough pressure on it so mostly when you're typing or you're moving um, the plastic around the mouse pad. And lastly, just above the keyboard there, we have three LED lights there and two microphones. And I'm very pleased to say that the microphones do work quite well. Show me the weather. It's currently 53 and partly sunny. If we turn this around, we are going to find the two speakers and the four rubber feet. The rubber feet are there so the notebook doesn't slip whenever it's sitting on a table or something like that. I don't necessarily like how the speakers are um, located because if you have this on your lap you're gonna cover the speakers but if you keep this on a desk or something like that, that uh, sound is gonna be amplified by the desk so I guess it's good and bad depending on how you use uh, the laptop. As for the sound quality, well it's nothing exceptional, if you're in a noisy place you're barely gonna hear whatever it's um, coming out of those speakers. This notebook is using a full copy of Windows 10 the home edition and this is also an activated copy and of course I was able to install all the updates that um, were available um, yesterday. As I mentioned at the beginning I don't have any complaints regarding the performance um, of this notebook so even though it costs under $300 it performs very well. So of course I had to run a couple of benchmark tests just so I have a better idea about the results. So on the first benchmark test called Passmark I got a very similar score to what I got on my Voyo V1. That's another mini PC that I use and uh, that one has the N4200 CPU. So very good scores uh, for that Passmark. And moving to the Geekbench 4 here again we get great multi-core scores and these are on par with the other mini PCs that I tried in the past. This comes with a 64 gig SSD as the internal storage and uh, out of that we have about 40 gigs um, free. So the rest is being taken by the operating system. But the speeds that I got for that SSD are among the best that I've seen for any mini PC. This comes with a 5000 mAh battery and I know that it doesn't sound like a lot but keep in mind that the N3450 that we have inside this notebook it's very power efficient. So you're gonna be able to get between 6 and 8 hours of usage on one charge. Of course it really depends what you do with the notebook in that time, how you keep the screen's brightness and so on, but if you just watch some movies, do some browsing and so on, you should be able to get over 6 hours easily. As for the charging time, it takes about 4 hours to 4 hours and a half to fully charge this uh, from 0 to 100. 
If you use the Microsoft Edge browser, you can watch YouTube videos at any resolution and they all seem to go um, extremely smooth. Now, I can say the same about Chrome. If you're planning to watch um, YouTube videos using Chrome, even uh, videos at 1080p kind of lag. And of course, that has to do with the software um, optimization. But if you use the Microsoft Edge browser, um, all YouTube videos work extremely good. You can even play games on this cheap notebook and I played Asphalt 8 um, and uh, it does seem to work um, quite well. But I'm gonna let you watch uh, for a couple of minutes. This also supports dual band Wi-Fi, so you can connect to the 2.4 and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands and of course I checked the speeds for both bands and they are pretty good. And lastly, what video files can you play on this? Well, it can handle most video files because that um, N3450 CPU that we have is quite powerful, but I'm gonna let you watch uh, some files that I played. The first one it's a 4K file at 60 frames per second and that one works extremely good. And pretty much all the files that I tried um, work pretty good, but I'm just gonna let you watch um, how all those uh, files play. And it's time to conclude this video. So performance wise I don't have any complaints regarding this notebook. It actually performs much better than I was expecting. What I didn't like uh, that much about it are the viewing angles of the screen because if you look at the screen um, this way you're not going to be able to see it that well. And of course the tilting because you can tilt it um, more. But uh, aside from that, this is a very, very good uh, laptop for its price. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.